Britain's Got Talent viewers were left baffled as the audience appeared to boo judge Bruno Tonioli as the final kicked off on Sunday night. Ten acts are battling out on the conclusion to the show to win the £250,000 prize and the chance to perform at the Royal Variety Performance. But as the episode kicked off on ITV and Judges Bruno, Simon Cowell, Alesha Dixon and Amanda Holden were introduced by Ant and Deck, Bruno appeared to get a less than positive reaction from the crowd. Indeed, after the first act, Haribo, a double Dutch group, performed as Bruno attempted to give his feedback. The boos were heard again. Viewers penned on Twitter in reaction, am I going crazy or is Bruno getting booed by the audience every time he speaks hashtag BGT? Why do the audience keep booing Bruno? Hashtag BGT. Me trying to work out why the audience boo Bruno every time he speaks. Hashtag BGT. Is Bruno getting booed? Hashtag BGT. Did Bruno just get a few boos for being nice or am I being a melt? Hashtag BGT. However, others pointed out they could have simply been chanting his name Bruno. One penned, they don't boo him, they chant Bruno. I think they are saying, Bruno, 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 but it just sounds like boo ha Currently, singer Sydney Christmas is the favorite to win. The budding West End star, 28, sailed through to Sunday's final after winning her semi-final heat with her rendition of Frank Sinatra's My Way that wowed judges Simon Cowell, Amanda Holden, Alesha Dixon, and Bruno Tonioli. Now, Ladbrokes has made Amanda's golden buzzer act the overwhelming favorite at two-fifth to be crowned champion, with comedian Alex Mitchell next in the betting at four over one ahead of Abigail and Afronita. Elsewhere, every other act is currently 12 over 1 or higher, while Northen sings out and tracks ahead into tonight's final price as the current rank outsiders at 66 over 1 apiece. Alex Apati of Ladbroke said, We've seen some sensational acts along the way, but it all boils down to tonight's final, where the odds suggest it's going to take something pretty special to stop Sydney Christmas from winning the series. Magician Jack Rhodes is next with odds of 12 over 1, opera singer Innocent Masakust ends at 16 over 1 and jump rope group Haribo is at 33 over 1, along with impressionist Mike Woodham. Sydney, from Kent Works, as a receptionist at a local gym on a zero-hour contract and has insisted that despite the outcome of Sunday's show, she will be returning to work Monday morning. Speaking to the mirror, she joked, I've already had two weeks off and I'm on a zero-hours contract. I have rent to pay. Sydney has dreamt of being able to work full-time on the West End and is hopeful that BGT will be a stepping stone to make that dream a reality. In a year's time, I hope I'm living my dream. I want to be doing what I love for a living instead of rolling towels and making shakes. Before her BGT audition, Sydney was considering turning her back on her dreams. Sydney said, if you'd have told me on New Year's Eve that this would be happening in my life five months later, I would have told you something. So I'm very happy and a very lucky girl. I've done loads of auditions to get into the West End. It's always not backs, always that you don't fit. All my mates have got babies and getting married. I'm still trying to afford rent in London. So I thought in my head because nothing was happening for me I'll give it one last go. And here we are today. Sydney appeared in the E4 program Stage School which ran for two seasons in 2016 and 2017 showcasing the real struggles for students studying performing arts.